Say hi as y'all come in. We're going to make our Santa today. Everybody. So, um, today I'm going to show you how to make the tree topper Santa, and I've started one, and now I'm just kind of jazzing him up. But this is the one that I've started, and I've been really tugging and doing stuff with him, so I don't have him all fluffed out or anything. But this is the one that I've started. The, you can use whatever ribbons you like and trims that you like, but I've decided I wanted fur around mine. And I want you to see this face. You guys, this is heirloom quality porcelain face. So, these, when, once you make these for someone, the quality on this face is just so marvelous. What a kind face he has. Now I've wired my arms, so I'm going to make a bag of presents, and then I'm going to paint a uh, staff that I'm making for him to hang on to with the other arm. So, um, you know what? Just use your imagination, and you can make yours any way that you like. But just imagine, he can sit on a shelf, a mantle, or he can go on the top of your tree. It's just all in what you want. I used Dupiani um, ribbon for this one because I like the way it just kind of flows at the bottom. So mine is, I, I like the angel on my tree, so this is just going to sit on a table in a tablescape. So, um... You all can figure out where you would like to put your Santa if you choose to make one. I hope so. They're so easy and they're so fun. And like I said, if you use your imagination, you can make your Santa do just about anything. So, I'm going to put him aside. We'll finish him after I make one. So, this is the kit that you get. And I'm just now thinking I forgot to... Uh, I have them all ready to be listed on my Etsy shop. So this afternoon, when I get done, he'll be available for purchase on my Etsy shop. And I know you all are going to ask me how much, and I don't even know if I even remember. So, inexpensive. So this is what comes in your kit. So the first thing I'm going to do is say hi, you guys, as you come in. So the first thing I'm going to do is uncoil it and um, show you how we do that. So, you just want it to, um, these are tightly coiled, so you want to match your bottom edge and get you a good cone shape, okay? Then just take your stapler and put a couple of staples down here around the edge. Now, this has holes in it in a few different places because this is the same one that comes with the angels. So the reason there's holes in it is because you can put lights in these if you so choose to. Now, I don't know if you all are familiar with... Um, porcelain, um, but it will reflect light through it. So if you were to put a light anywhere up inside of the head, it will make his face glow. Um, I don't think I have one. I should do that and show you how it makes the face glow. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with our ribbons. Now, before um, I make this, I want to show you that you can do buffalo plaid. 
If you have a tree that you like the rustic look or the buffalo plaid, you can use the buffalo plaid for your Santa. And just use a plain white or a plain black for a shroud to go over the front of him. So if you're having a hard time matching your decor for the top of your tree, this is the ticket. <laughs> just saying. Okay, so this is a two inch ribbon that I'm gonna use today. You can use four inch ribbon, two and a half, three inch, whatever you have. This is a ribbon that matches the hat for the Santa that I'm gonna use today with the gold trim. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna make my, this Santa, um, cause I like it to come a little, several inches lower. So I'm thinking, let me see what I got here. We're gonna make it a 12 inch loop. So, just gonna pull that down. I think I'm gonna grab me a Okay. So the board measures out to 12 inches. So I'm just gonna fold that over and bring it back. So I have 12 inches on this end. Give it a half twist. Now my board goes to eight. So I'm gonna line that up with my cutting mat. And I'm gonna count out so here's 9, 10, 11, 12. And I only have to do that once because I will use this for my next measurement. So now I have 12 inches on that side. So I know that I want to put in six loops. on each side. And I'll show you how to test how full it's going to be when we get our loops on. And if you have any questions along the way, just let me know. I'll be happy to answer them. And if I miss them, just ask them again. Ask them again. <laughs> I, I've got a thick tongue. I've been talking all morning. Now this does come complete with the directions. So you can follow the directions and have a shorter um, jacket for your Santa if you want, or you can make it any length that you want. If you have a larger tree, you're gonna wanna make these 13 or 14 inches probably, but for the smaller trees, you're gonna to wanna to stick with the directions, which I think is nine inches, which is the measurement from the top to the bottom of the cone. Hi, Susie. Okay, let's count. There's two. So I've got four loops on each side and I could stop there if I wanted, but I don't, I want it to be really full. 
So I'm going to add another um, piece of ribbon. I'm going to cut this one off really close here. You're not going to see these. We'll be able to hide them. So we're just not going to worry about them. Some of the more expensive ribbons that you can get um, come with shorter lengths in them. And if you guys are like me, you don't care how much is in the roll when you like it. Because you like it. Okay, we'll put our last loops in. I think that's going to make it six, this one will. And then I'll show you what's next. I've got my six loops on each side so now I'm going to show you how you can see how full your Santa is going to be so we're going to take these and we're just going to we're going to pull them forward so I like how full this is going to be I'm happy with that sticking with the six so now we're going to, I like to clip mine so that it keeps my, um, things all together. So I'm just going to take one of my clips and I'm just going to clip them together. Keeps them out of my way for what I'm going to do next. So that's nice. Okay. So we're just going to bend those forward. Now we're going to make his sleeves. So we don't want him to be his arms to be too short and we don't want him to be too long. So I made these 12 inches. So I'm going to make six and a half inch arms for bite. Almost seven inches, actually. Now, this is the part where when we make the angels, um, this is where we did the wings. So this is the arms. And we are going to do two on each side for this. And I'll show you why, because we're going to glue them together. And unfurl this. That might make me happier. There we go. Okay, I have my arms. You want to make sure that they're good and even because like I said, we're going to glue them together. So I'm going to take this last piece and I'm just going to bring it down and clip it in. And then I'm going to trim it off even with the rest of my uh, loops. Okay, so before I take this off of the bow maker, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring you in so you can see what I'm doing. 
So I'm going to take these individually and I'm just going to run a bead of glue inside and I'm using a very small low temp glue gun today. So I'm just going to run a small bead of glue along the edge of my ribbon and pinch it together. Just like that. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Just a small bead of glue and make sure that you're controlling your glue gun because you don't want glue to get on the outside of this ribbon at any time. That's why I suggest using a smaller glue gun than we normally do when we're making wreaths. So we're going to go through and we're going to do that on all four pieces for our arms. And I know my arm is probably in your way. I'll hurry with this one. And it doesn't take a lot of glue. When it's low temp, it's very tacky for you. There, I got a little piece of it on the edge. No worries. Thank goodness it dries clear. So just press those together. Just like that. Now I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to do the other side just like I did that side. Now, if you want to make your sleeves a little bit longer and fold them over for a cuff, you're, you can do that too. Okay, now for the top one. You guys are just way too quiet today. Another glue stick here. Let's do this other side. I want to keep it to the edge because there's this gold cording on there, and you want to test out your. Um, ribbon with your glue gun to make sure that it's not going to bleed through and show that you have glued your ribbon because there's nothing going to be uglier than your glue showing through your ribbon. So you're going to want to use a ribbon that it's not going to show on for sure. Okay, now we're ne ready for our next step. So let me grab some wire. This is um, 22 gauge wire that I'm going to use. So I'm going to just get it up here and double it over. This is how we'll be able to bend his arms around. Let me just cut that off.
So I'm just going to give it a twist here on the end. I'm going to use my needle nose pliers because this is um, sharp when you cut it. So I'm going to make a little loop on my end here for me to be able to poke inside of the arm. So just like that, I made a little loop on that end. And I'm going to come down here to the other end. And I'm just going to twist a little loop here. So now I have a loop on both ends of my wire. So I'm going to take my um, sleeves and I'm just going to put this in between the dowels here so that it is running underneath my top loops just like that. Okay? Well, thank you, Miss Julie. And welcome if this is your first time. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to glue our sleeves together. So, you want to stay right next to that gold cording. and put your glue right on that edge and match your sleeves just like that okay we're going to do the same thing on this side and hold my wire out of my way actually before I do that I want to give him a little puff in his sleeves and it's always easier to do this part I'm just using a little bit of tissue paper off there and my ceiling fan which keeps this old lady from her her hot flashes under these studio lights from peeling over on you the ceiling fan blows my paper around a lot so I'm just going to tear a piece off it doesn't have to be a lot just a piece I'm just going to give it a little scrunch up just like that. A little bit of something to make his his sleeve seem a little bulkier. So I just am going to fold that in there like so before I glue my, my sleeve. Now these are little tips I've learned from making these. So the first one I made I was um, stuffing that paper in, wasn't fun. So, I hope this helps you all to do it easier than me. Okay, so, on this sleeve I'm all done. So I'm ready to insert my arm in my hand. So you wanna make sure the thumbs are up when you pull it towards you, okay? because he's going to be hanging on to something, whatever you choose. So I'm just going to load a goodly amount of glue inside of that arm. Can you see that? Just put it in there and then make sure that you're... Did I do the wrong one? Yes, I did. I'm going to put that on there because I've already got it glued. When you pull it towards you, you want to make sure that you um, have the thumbs up. All right, I'll go back and do this one now. So you want to put a load it up in there, just load it up, and stick it on that little loop of wire, and you figure out how long you want your 
hands to stick out of your your sleeves. Okay, I'm going to turn this around and we're going to do the same thing over here on the other side. Get me some paper. that's ready. I'm going to go ahead and glue the bottom side and put my paper in when I get that done. Again, keep your hand in your wire out of the out of the glue. Match up your sleeve. Okay, now I can go ahead and put my paper in. If you have too much, just tear off. Sorry. Thank you. So just poke your paper in there. Just to give it a little bulk up on the sleeve. You don't want it to stick out. You don't want it to show. It doesn't matter if it gets in your glue. It's just a lot cleaner if it doesn't. So now I'm going to just run my bead of glue in here along my uh, gold edge on my wire. You want to be very careful not to get this on your the outside of your uh, ribbon. Just get it glued together. Hold it in place if you need to. Got a little bit on there. I don't like that. Now, I like to take um, my hand, that's why we don't want to get any glue on our wire. So I'm just going to take the hand and bring it to the top of the sleeve instead of leaving it in the middle. And I'm just going to shoot a little bit of glue in there so that my hand stays to the top of the sleeve. And I I think I need a little bit more glue in there. So the gold edge of the ribbon ends up being your trim on this particular ribbon. And again, I'm going to move it to the top. I'm going to shoot a little bit of glue down here and just pinch it. It doesn't matter if one hand sticks out farther than the other. It just doesn't matter. Okay, I like the way my my hands have turned out. I like the length on length of them for the arms. So now we're ready to pull this off. So I'm going to take another piece of that of wire and I'm going to work it in. And oh let's see, how long am I going to do my wire? I think I'm just going to do a piece of wire at 20 inches here. Wire does come with your Santa um, to do this part but not this part. So, you know, wire is very inexpensive to buy. Stacy, it all comes as a kit. And as soon as I get done here, it'll be available in my Etsy shop. So I'll post the link for you when I'm done. And just feed that through my dowel. And I'll hook on my camera. All right, I've got that all hooked in, so I am ready to pull this off, and I'm trying to keep it very, very tight when I pull it off. So just like that, I'm going to give it all a twist. 
just like we do with the bows, actually. So now I'm ready to unclip this. And before I do another thing, I am going to fluff him out. You're done with this. The Easy Bow Makers and the kits are all available in my Etsy shop. So just get your wire to the back, bring your ribbons around in a circle. It's kind of loose right now. I haven't totally tightened my, my wire back here because I am forming, pulling some down. I'm going to tighten that here in a minute. We're just going to go around with both sides and pull them straight down. This is what we have to do with all of our ribbon tails when we make our bows. And we're going to do the same thing with our Santa. We're just going to pull them straight down. So isn't that gorgeous and we don't even have a body on it yet. So all I've done was just take them, pull them down to create my circle. Sorry, you guys. When I have my camera at this angle, it's, I have to pay attention more and I wasn't. Okay, so I like the way I have this all fluffed. So I am ready to give this a pinch here okay and my wire is now down I've turned my wire and so I'm ready to just pull it even tighter and when you use this gauge wire to give it tightness you're gonna have to twist with a pair of needle nose pliers okay I'm just twisting that tight so I am ready to move on to my next step and again, my wire is going to be straight down. And I want to have these in place back here before I place the head on. And I'll show you why in a minute here. I want my arms just to go straight down for right now. Okay, so now we're ready to place our head up here. And this is kind of narrow, so we're going to have to do a lot of pinching and scrunching, but that's okay. We're going to glue it in place. So I usually take my fingers and put them in the very center of everything and just start pressing him in. So I like the way the front is going. I like the way my arms are. So now I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to come up through all of these in the front. And I'm going to continue to press in the middle. But I'm going to make this look a little prettier back here before I glue him in. So I'm just going to take the time to pull these down. Make sure that these are going to hang the way I want them. That's pretty good. We're going to have a little shroud that comes around. So this 
pretty much is going to be hidden, but I just want to make sure that these are going to hang in the direction I want them to. So I'm happy with that. So now I'm ready to pull this off and load it up with glue, okay? So don't be afraid to put some glue in here. At this point, if you were going to light your Santa face, you're going to want to um, put your lights in the head at this time. And you want to be careful about where your glue is going because you don't want it to get on your, your ribbon. Make sure your head is facing the right direction. And just hold it there. That's just right, Donna. So I'm just holding it there. I'm going to let it dry a little bit or harden. I think we're pretty good so far anyway I continue to fluff the front and we're about ready to put him on our you need to pump some more glue in just do it because like I said this part is going to be hidden and you don't want to have to worry about it coming unglued on you so just pump it in there We're going to let that sit for just a little bit. Anybody have any questions to this point? Oh, thank you so much, Karen. I love these little guys. So I have kits for Santas and if you haven't seen I have kits for angels too. And you can get as creative as you want to with the angels. So I can't take my hand off my Santa so I'm just going to lay these out here. So this is one that I did a lot more cream with my gold. She, she holds a harp. I haven't glued her hands on there yet, but she holds a harp. And as you can see, they're just as beautiful on the back as they are the front. The wings are neat and fluffed. So this one is just a simple um, one cream piece of uh, ribbon. And she's just as pretty on the back. So these kits are available also. I do have kits where you can make the smaller ones. They're about a six inch angel ornament that will look the same as this. You'll just use a one and a half inch ribbon to make them. I do have kits available where you can make one large one and three small angels, or you can order the small angels individually. So the kits for the, um, large angel and the three angel ornaments comes complete with the ribbons you need to make all uh, four of them. Jeannie, they're so fun to make. Okay, 
we are ready to add this into our um, plastic stand. So, when I do this, and I'm sorry you guys, my camera has stopped showing me what we're doing. So, just feed your wire down through. And then what I like to do is take my wire outside of one of the holes to help me with my glue process and just bring it back out one of the holes. So that um, kind of helps to uh, hold it in place while I'm putting my glue on. So this is what we have so far. Now, um, I know there's another lady, um, I'm trying to think of her name, is it Deb, that um, makes these also, and she puts hers on a 2 liter Coke bottle. You could use whatever soda bottle you have, um, but you can do that too, and it'll give you a little more height. raise that a little better okay now we're ready to glue him onto our um, plastic form so I'm just gonna run bead of glue up high and I'm just gonna press everywhere I'll lay it to the side so I can be sure and get done what I want to get done there. And normally, I just run it clear up to the top, like I'm doing. I think he's on there. You're going to fluff and fluff and fluff while you're making him. I'm going to just tell you that right now. <laughs> okay, he's on my form. So now, there is a gold piece of ribbon in your kits. So, this gets tied around up here at the top. And I personally don't care for that, so um, I like to use the 5 8 I'm using a gold here because I like the way it curls down in the front, even if you just knot it. So, and you can pick this up at, um, I believe, Hobby Lobby. They're $3.99 a roll, and they usually have them all, every, all the time. So I'm just going to give this a little tie right up here. Now if you want to, you can get you a little black buckle and you can give him a black buckle if you want. I don't. I like the little more elegant looking. You can do this with a big bright red um, ribbon if you like. I'm going to leave mine just like that. I like that look. On the back I'm just matching up so that I don't have any underneath side of the ribbon showing. Very good. I'm going to take my ends and curl them up. Thank you, Susan. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. 
just going to let them curl. Now you will need wired ribbon for this. Okay, enough on that one. Now we're going to take a piece and we're just going to come right down this away. I'm going to bring that underneath of his arms. And we're just, what we're doing is basically just covering up the mechanics of the back. So I've got that piece down there. Okay, I'm going to shorten this piece just a little bit. Because I'm going to want a longer piece. I'm going to do, I'm going to put this piece in there at this length. It's a good length. So, this piece that is hiding all of the mechanics back here, I'm going to end up bringing that and tucking it underneath of this ribbon that I tied. So it's going to just come right here under his beard. So see how I have that just hiding all of the mechanics back here? And it looks like one single seam down the back. So I'm going to lay him down here and I'm going to take the time to bend his arms out and poke this underneath of that gold ribbon that I put in. And hopefully you're seeing this. Okay, and we're just going to overlap that and just let it hang out right here. I'm going to hem those pieces. I'm going to make sure it's underneath his beard. There's a groove. Do I have another Santa head? There's a groove between his neck and the back of his head. Okay, I'm going to lay him flat. I'm going to Run a bead of glue along the back edge of the, the head piece. So that stays where I want it. Okay. Now I'm going to come around here and I'm going to hem my ribbon. And this is how I do it. I just take a little scant piece of glue, run a bead of glue, and just fold that over on itself. So I have a nice finished edge there. Again, you're going to want to use a low temp glue gun. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing with my pieces down below. These were the first, uh, this was the ribbon tails from just building the body. There's another one in here somewhere. Here it is. We're just going to finish that edge. By just folding it over. Okay, now my last little piece of ribbon that I have, is going to go up and over his head, and it is going to stay 
pull this down where I want it. I'm probably going to put a little bit of glue on there. I'm just going to let that come just like this. Maybe I'll just let that be. We gotta wrap Santa up. He's gonna be on a sleigh. Now, if you want to have it up like this around his face, that's fine. Or you can tuck this piece under the under his um, beard. That's up to you. So, and it's also up to you whether or not you just want his arms to be down this way. Maybe he's holding something. You don't necessarily have to glue this piece in if you don't want to. You can tuck it underneath. You can do a lot of things with this one. Maybe you have a special little pin that you want to put on here. Um, you could do that too. But we don't want to cover up all of our. But you get the idea on this one, correct? Isn't he beautiful? I can't zoom in on his face, but I can hold him up there for you to see. This is an heirloom quality porcelain face. They can be passed down to generations, just this one handmade item. I put a post on my page earlier this week about, um, do you prefer handmade or store-bought gifts? Every time I'm going to answer handmade, because if somebody thought enough of me to take the time to um, make something for me, I'm going to cherish that for life. So I'm going to get um, these listed in my Etsy shop here in just about two shakes of a minute. So I want to show you the things that you can do with the hands. So um, I still have to spray paint this, but you get, you get one of these uh, rods at Hobby Lobby. And this is a 1 8 inch by 36 inch piece that I just cut with my wire cutters guys and <clears throat> you can buy these um, round bead with a 1 inch 1 8 inch hole you get eight pieces of these beads so I just fed that up in here and now I'm gonna spray paint this gold so he'll have his scepter and we're just gonna glue that on this side so let me show you some fun things that you can do with the other arm. So if you wanted to, you could print you off a naughty or nice uh, list that he could be holding in both of his hands. Maybe it's coming up this way and curling off this way. Or you can get you a clear bag. I don't have a clear bag. I have some on order. But you can get yourself a clear bag and you can put some gifts in there. Now you can pick these up at Hobby Lobby at Christmas time at Walmart everywhere. So again, I'm going to take a piece of um, my um, I'm just going to stuff this bag. And again, I would do like a a a sheer bag that um, you've, <coughs> excuse me, that you've um, matched to the ribbon of your choice. So you're just going to take a little bit of glue and you're just going to glue these to the paper inside of here. And you can pick whatever colors of the one that you want. So I'm just going to glue them to each other. Just like that. 
get another glue stick. And you can even buy these a little bit smaller too, actually. And these are made to hang on a tree, so cut your hangers off. I didn't do that before I started this. Hopefully that was in the camera shot. So I just took a bag that I had. This was a jewelry bag. So what I'm gonna do with this is tie this in a knot. And see this has a little angel on it. So what we would do with this is let this flip over his back, if I can. I'm trying to. So you can bend this arm up so this would be in his hand over his back and so he's just we put wire in his arms so it's you're just going to be gluing um, the handle on the bag and a scepter over here So I hope you can see that. So you can put these on your mantle, you can put them on a side table, you can put them on the top of a tree, you can do lots and lots of things with these. So I hope that you enjoyed learning how to make the, the Santas today. And I hope that you would enjoy making the angels they're just as pretty who knew you could do so much with your easy bow maker right you guys so i don't know which one that i would like the best <laughs> i kind of like all of them but they're just beautiful and fun to work with this is one that i've been working on this is how you can use your imagination this is one that I've been working on for myself. So I used uh, Dupiani uh, ribbon for this one. And I bought me some fake fur and I've lined his cuffs and up around. And I've just used a wired ribbon here that um, I'm just scrunching up, put a knot in. So. I'm working on a little white cape to go, fur cape to go around him. So, you can, the sky's the limit. And once again, they don't have to sit on a tree. They can sit on a table or a mantle. So again, the faces on these are heirloom quality porcelain. There's the Santa, and I'll show you the beautiful angels. These do come in ornament size, and I am going to show you some pixies, some fairies, here soon, and they are just gorgeous. So I hope you enjoyed today. I know we didn't make bows, but I wanted you to see all the different ways that you can use your um, easy bow maker and so now you know why this girl is so excited every time she picks up her easy bow maker so today I think my husband would agree we made that darn thing sing so I'm gonna sign off I've got to head to work today's my Friday yay so um, I won't see you tomorrow tomorrow is our anniversary so um, I'll see you on Monday I hope I see you all on Monday if you guys have any questions, just drop them in the comments. I monitor those. I'd be happy to go back and answer them for you. So I'll see you guys when I see you. Have a great weekend. Bye, guys.